Well, hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You call me Shay for short. And I still look like I'm in a cloud right now. Oh, my necklace matches my hat, matches my... Anyway, does not matter. Okay, we're going to be doing... Oh my... We're going to be doing... Oh, man, has Black Air Force energy. This is the first time when somebody... I have watched one of these things. And I want to go watch the series. As in, I saw the first two... Not even the first two minutes. I saw the first minute of this reaction. I said, okay, I can't even do it. I got to go, go watch the series. So this is me coming back and after I watch the series. It's so good. Show, I only got one thing to say, bro. This man, Omni-Man, has pure Black Air Force activity. Yes, damn it, I said it. J. Jonah Jameson has finally showed us his true power. My Bruh, it is so good. I have watched it. I watched it twice. It is so good. This man is crazy. Okay. You know how when people be like, oh, my boyfriend, he crazy. Don't mess with him. Literally, he crazy. Don't, don't. He is l crazy. God almighty, Peter Parker, your ass best get to step it. Because J. Jonah Jameson is not playing any more games. Bro. No. But anyways, yo, this man, Omni-Man, is a pure savage. Like, I have never seen something like this before. And after watching this, I might have to do something, bro. I just might have to put this man in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Yes. Now, I know Invincible is not an anime, but pff, shit. We might Whatever. Make an exception. So y'all already Amen. know I got the evidence on deck. And we will see if this man is worthy to be sat at the round table of black air force activity but before we start our investigation let me go ahead and give out that spoiler warning real quick if you have not seen invincible do not watch this video because you will be spoiled but like for yep. real though, if you have not seen this show i highly recommend watching it in all honesty it's one of the best shows i've seen in a minute but yep. anyways <clears throat> exhibit a this man murked the entire bootleg Justice League or the Guardians of the Globe, whatever the fuck you want. My nigga, they the bootleg Justice League. Yep. I mean, look at some of these niggas, bro. We got bootleg Flash, bootleg Wonder Woman, yep. bootleg Batman, mm -hmm. bootleg Aquaman, but he's a whole ass, musty ass, stank ass fish. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the way that we match in and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I hate you. Then we got bootleg Martian Manhunter. And then I don't know who the fuck this is supposed to be. I'm just calling cream bitch. Then yeah. Hello. I think I don't even know what she was I don't even know what she was supposed to do because she got she got murked like really quickly in this fight too. I'm being dead serious. Like we got this nigga. I don't know who the fuck this is. He's supposed to be. Either. But yo, this man, Omni Man, hold every single last one of their asses, dog. Like, look what he did to bootleg Flash, bruh. He crushed his head slowly. And while he was doing that, he was trying to punch him. But yes. He was breaking his hands while doing it. King Kong ain't got shit on me. What makes this worse? This shit probably felt like an eternity for him. So he just face plays Walmart woman and he grabs bootleg Batman out of the fucking air and slams his ass on the canvas. And then green bitch just got annihilated. Like he put his whole hand through her face. Yes. Then used her as a body shield. Then he just collabed with Aqua nigga and got his ass ready to be stuffed in a fresh can of tuna. Hey, but Loki though, they did start jumping him though. Fight yeah. Back, Fight back, nigga. Fight back. Fight back. But then he rips off Martian Manhunter. Gun checks this nigga so hard he blew his back out. Sent Walmart woman back to the great value aisle. And sent this nigga Packer back to Valhalla. <laughs> uh, that's exhibit A. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Hey. And and the reason why he said that it felt like a turdy is because the Flash guy said when he was talking to his girlfriend. Like her actually talking to him literally feels like lifetimes. It's like it won't hurry the, this conversation, even though it's brief. It won't hurry the heck up. And when I say he murked everybody, this murked everybody. Everybody is dead, 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 dead. So was I happy? Yeah, I I was. I was very happy. Like like I was very happy that he killed all of these people because of the fact that the matter is they came off very preachy. Like I like I just can't stand a superhero that always talks about like the same stuff. We get it that you're about justice, but Jesus Christ, you do not have to bore my ears off about it. We have to do the right thing. I was so happy when he killed all these people. Uh on to exhibit B. 
This man destroyed an entire alien civilization. So these aliens are attacking Earth and shit, right? So this man, Omni-Man, comes in, right? Makes them go back to their portal and retreat. But Omni-Man said, fuck that, nigga, y'all ain't going nowhere. So he flew through their portal to their planet and murked the entire civilization. And he did this shit in like the matter of seconds. And to top it off, bruh, they literally made him a portal so he could leave and go back to Earth. But to thank him for that, he decided to drop a big ass rock on their ass then just leave <laughs> bro and the thing is bro in this episode he said something that should have sent off red flags for like everybody okay okay just to you know what it sounds like i'm caping for him but just to say this this is their third time invading earth like literally they they invaded earth they realized they were allergic to something like they were allergic to metals left came back with bracelets to stop the the allergicness left came back this is their third time Third time, first two times he let he let the little he let his little friend um his little kids his kids trying to deal with it. Third time he's like I'm this is the third time you know came here. Now now I want everybody to think about it. How many times? Okay, people who have parents that love and care about them. How many times your parents got to repeat themselves before before they before that I go up and they um and they uh the eyes are twitching. I know for my mama, it was not three. For my dad, it was not three. Wrong answer! You had one good one and a half of a bad one. And then it better been to have done. Like, I'm just being honest this year. So they had three times. They tried this man three times. First two times, I think he was like, still like trying to recover in the hospital. Third time, he said, y'all done came here three times. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this crap. You understand that Earth isn't yours to conquer. <laughs> This man said Earth isn't yours to conquer. So in my head, I was like, hmm, wait a damn minute. Something ain't right here. But Lord have mercy, bro. This shit was just getting started. But before we go into exhibit C, our final exhibit, we're gonna take a little detour real quick. Cause we got a little special exhibit. So without further ado, let's run exhibit S. We gotta talk about Batman. Oh my Eye. god. This is a Omni Man video. Oh my god. Man, I was gonna talk about this. He need, this he needs to go to the round table. Luke Savage. This yes. This dude literally bodied everybody's shit. King Kong ain't got shit on me. This dude literally came to Earth only because he thought they had worthy opponents, bruh. Uh, but obviously, uh, them niggas were not worthy for shit. Look how he just bitch slaps Rex, bruh. I enjoyed that shit way too much. Play that shit again. Bruh, Rex got on my your nerve bro he got on my nerve he oh my god rex duplicate girls she's stupid too and everything else but literally rex got on my nerves this whole this whole thing but you know what they always have to have one annoying anime person so i guess that was him for me uh obviously if you cannot tell i do not like rex but i mean he ain't as bad as amber though jesus christ her ass belongs to these streets bro but you know but you know what that's for a whole nother video bro Look. No, it's not. It's not for a whole number of video. I just don't give a fuck. I could not stand Amber. Oh, I did. I could not stand her because of the fact that the matter is. Look, I get it. He lied to you, dog. He lied to you. You knew that. You stayed with the dude. Really, nigga. Literally, literally, literally. Who do I? Who do I fault more that their relationship was toxic? Her. But what about the victim? Oh yes. The victim. At what point does personal responsibility become a factor in this equation? I don't because literally, yeah, he lied to you. He kept buying you gifts and you kept taking them. You, every gift that he got for you, you took it and you were like, okay, I'm still going to hold the grudge and everything else. If you didn't want to deal with it, just leave him alone. Okay, I don't, I'm so tired of hearing these chicks saying, we, we, I broke up in my head with him like months ago. I'm just waiting until it fizzles out. No, you still, you still depending on that paycheck from him. Okay. Don't bullshit a bullshit. If you broke up with him in your head months ago, you should let him know that you, that part of you ain't there no more. Okay. Leave him alone. All right. Cause you was, you was okay with him flying the, Flying to Japan to get your favorite thing. He went to Mars. He went to Mars. Got you a rock. He went to. He went somewhere else. Got you a trunk. You were okay with all of that, huh? 
Don't bullshit a bullshit You were okay with all of that, him doing all this special stuff, but he stood you up a couple times and now you getting all up in your feelings and everything else. And then, and then for Adam and Eve girl to say that she, oh, you dragged her along for five months. Really nigga? She is a, she is a girl. She's a, she's a teenager. She is part of this relationship. She could have left at any point in time. It's not like he was bounding her saying that she had to stay with him. So I can, so Adam Eve girl, when she said that, I was like, girl, you for the birds to get out of my face. Okay. Don't bullshit a bullshit. Okay. Try to realize that your man cheating on you would duplicate. Okay. Smacks this nigga, bruh. Send his ass to oblivion. That motor combat, that's what K.O. <laughs> This was when I realized there is no plot armor in this show at all. And he bathed in his <laughs> blood, my guy. Oh, bro. And look at this no power having ass looking nigga right here. Like, the fuck is your stupid ass gonna do, dawg? You deserve to get your wrist broke. Like, yeah, you just saw the strongest dude in the room get bodied. Like, what bright idea went through your head when you thought of this? I have no powers. The strongest dude in the room with powers just got bodied. What should I do? Bull rush his ass. God. And then Monster Girl tried to attack him, but he sent her ass to the shadow room immediately. And this man got so bored because they were so damn weak, he left. Absolute savagery, bruh. So that was our special exhibit, Exhibit S, and uh, it is time finally to move into Exhibit C. Please say Exhibit C is the train. The train track scene, please say it is, because the train track scene is, is the best, bro. It's the best exhibit, please. Omni man, Omni man, Omni man. Okay, so the entirety of Exhibit C is basically the entirety of Episode Eight. But some stuff yes. happened before that, real quick. So some dudes tried to run up on him, but he murdered every single one of them. He broke Homeboy's spine, and then the immortal dude came back to life just to get his ass clapped and sent back to Valhalla again. So then we finally figure out what these Viltrumites actually are. They are not like Kryptonians. Everything Omni man said from day one, from the jump, was a damn lie. These niggas are Saiyans. They got a whole ass empire and everything, dog. So after he told all this to his son, he called his wife a pet. I do love your mother, but she's more like a a pet. <laughs> she heard the whole thing though. Bruh, it's like it's like if you ever watch cheaters. And you can just you you hear that like they can hear the whole thing in the mic. She's more like a pet. Now the thing is, why they said that is because they live for so long. Like 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 think of your pet, okay, versus your lifespan. Your lifespan could be all the way up to a hundred. Your pet's lifespan is like it tops off at twenty. So think of her as a pet. Like you know you're gonna lose her but you still enjoy the time you have with her. Now, it sounds really bad, especially because that's your mom. But I understood what he was saying, but it was so savage. The way he said it, he's like, she's a pet dog. Like, she, she's gonna die, so whatever. <laughs> he called his wife a pet. Oh my God, bro, this actually kinda hurt me a bit too. I was like, Damn, how you gonna call your own wife a pet, G? So after that, he just starts beating the dog Stop. shit out of Mark. But then these jets come to like, what, stop him or something? What the fuck are jets going to do to this nigga? Like these dudes are literally sitting ducks. So obviously they get murdered. I feel bad for that one dude though, bro. He got saved and everything. He was like, oh my God, I'ma live hip hip hooray. You almost killed it. Bruh, you gonna live? Dude, I'm sorry, you black. This is not even a horror movie, but you black. He about to die. Wrong answer! Instead, you saved him. So much effort. Hey. For what? what? <laughs> Bro. Hey, yo, alright. King Kong ain't got shit on me! Peter background character 985C, man. <laughs> Dicks his ass all the way to the city. And then, oh, bro, bro, bro. This is the train. Part. The goddamn yes. train. Yes. I'm not going to cap. When I first bro. saw this scene, I started screaming, dog. He used him as a meat shield. To literally kill everybody on that train. Oh, bro, bro. It, this scene right here just had me, like, shook. Me and all the homies were just sitting on the couch, like, 
Damn. He he really just did that. Used his own son as a meat shield. Then he slams his ass through a carnival cruise ship. Then threw his ass to the Arctic. Caused a whole ass avalanche. Then this is where the real ass whooping began. What's 17 more years? Excellent. I've broken both your body and your spirit. I can always start again. <laughs> This man really said, I could always make another kid. Oh my god! How do you tell your son that? Then he just ground and pounded his face until he turned his face into a goddamn piece of meatloaf. And then obviously, of course, we get our world famous meme. You're fighting so you can watch everyone around you die. Think, Mark! <laughs> Woo! Jesus Christ, bro. Okay, um, y'all, I'm gonna have to make an exception. Omni-Man will be the first outside anime character to enter the round table of Black Air Force activity. I, I, I can't deny this. This is pure savagery on another This level. is beautiful. Hell, you know what? All that battle beast in that hole, too. My God. <laughs> This but anyways, so, man, Invincible, this show deserves all the praise, man. I was not expecting this. I thought it was going to be just a generic ass superhero show. But my God, man. This it was beautiful. Blew that out the water. So, man, I, I can't wait for season two and three. Bruh, I'm going to tell you, this review is going to be long. And I don't even care. This show was gorgeous. And he didn't even talk about, he didn't even talk about everything else he did. He, he sent his son through a building and had him set, try to save a mom and a little kid. And then he's just like, F that, drop the building on his son. His son comes up holding the hand of his, the mom. It's ripped off. It is beautiful. I love it. Excellent. I've broken both your body and your spirit. I, oh my God, when I watched this, it was a mind blown. It was so good for me. I love a good character, a nice, a nice demented character, and he did it for me. And you could just see, you can just see the only reason why his son came out the way that he did is because of the fact of the matter is he literally, he literally was, he didn't know if he was going to get powers. So basically, he if his son didn't get powers, his son would have got. It basically would have got murked like everybody else. So, well, his son did get murked, but at least he can. At least he can survive. Do I love this show? Yes. Have I watched it? Yes. I I I think this show was just amazing. I I I Black Air Force energy. I loved it. It was unapologetically just horrific, and it was great. It was great. You can show the brutality of an anime without having to resort to the big R word. He just killed everybody. And it was beautiful. And I loved it. Oh my god. Black Air Force energy. Like, okay, my, again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You come with Shay for sure. You can tell what I really love an anime. <laughs> this is not an anime. This is a, a cartoon. But I really loved it. And and I'm telling you, if you have not watched it, he did not even scratch the surface about how much stuff Omni, Omni Man did. I'm telling you, Omni Man is the truth. He's a goat in his own right. And I'm just, I can't wait until, I cannot wait until it comes out with season two. Because I'm going to be hopping on that stuff really quickly. Like a thought when she thinks she heard about a rapper coming in town. That's how fast I'm going to hop on it. But again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. What the heck was that? Shay Too Sweet. Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, so long. <laughs>